Since March, the Impartial Reporter's fashion feature has proved to be a massive hit with the paper's readers. The fashion dream team Julie Cromwell and John McBitty handpicked the Fermanagh beauties each week to highlight and showcase the latest trends and fashions that are hitting the high street. Today, Fermanagh TV are here for a behind the scenes look at this week's Fashionista. Michaela Hines from Hillview in Enniskillen was this week's model and although it was her first time in front of the lens, after a few snaps it was as though she'd been modelling her whole life. With her bubbly personality and award-winning smile, the local beautician and hairdresser showcased a number of outfits from Monsoon. Michaela believes each look could be worn for the many events that occur over the festive season. My auntie's the manager of Monsoon, so I get to see all the stuff before it comes in and everything. So I've ended up buying them all because I love them. <laughs> I love the flower dress with the sleeves. I would never in my life think of putting that on me. And it's really, really nice on. Um, we dress that looks like an Irish dancer. It's nice. Um, with this jumpsuit and um, the casual outfit, I would wear them, so I would wear them at special occasions. I love something different, something quirky. So I would either see about myself and get it myself, or else I'd drop big massive hints like screensavers on my laptop and text messages from sizes of things. But yeah, I love them. Well, I'm joined now with Julie Kemwell, the fashionista of The Impartial Reporter. Now, you've been doing this feature since March. What is it about this feature that's so different than any other feature in the paper? I think it's just a bit of fun. It's really laid back. It just adds another dimension to the paper. And um, the thing with The Impartial Reporter, we want to make sure that there's something for everybody to read. So um, this is just another dimension to that. Now, what also is unique about this is you're not hiring in models, you're not getting them off these agencies, they are just local people on the yeah. street. How do you go about finding the models? Uh, really, just going on a street watch to see if there's anybody that stands out. <laughs> That's really it. And who does this? Is it yourself or John? It would be a mix between the two of us, but usually John would, would point them out. And what's the reactions uh, when the girls get stopped? You know, you see these programs, you know, talent spotting on the street, uh, are they surprised, are they willing to do it? A lot of them can be quite shy at first, but if they come into the office and, you know, get into it, they, you find that they get really relaxed then afterwards and they enjoy it, so. And what is it about fashion you think that girls love, you know, so much? Girls are great at giving other girls compliments, you love seeing what people are wearing. Yeah, you know? I think everybody likes to look through the glossy magazines and see what the celebrities are wearing, but the thing about this feature is it just shows that your average girl on the street can be just as trendy, just as stylish and fashionable and can set trends themselves too. Star system bound for us, joy connection found. You've chosen to be here, feet still on the ground. The man behind the camera is the impartial's very own John McBitty. Now John, you're used to being out and about snapping protests, news stories. This fashion feature is something that's very different for yourself. Yes, it is indeed. It's, uh, it's nice and refreshing. It's something new for the newspaper. Uh, it's a department of photography that I uh, have never done before. And I was really interested in getting into it. So it all just clicked together and mentioned the idea to Denzel. And Denzel says, yeah, good idea, go for it. Now a few of the girls that you've taken pictures of have went on to become models, you know, this could be like a stepping stone for them. Hopefully, it's a next to bonus that they do go on for me, so it shows that what I'm doing is hopefully going in the right direction and if the girls can go further, further afield, all the better. And you must get great satisfaction, you know, once the girls see the pictures, you know, maybe they've never been uh, photographed before and they're phoning you up going, wow, look at me. Yeah, I do get a lot of good feedback from the girls. They usually send me a text message. But thank you very much for persuading them to go to go and do the shoot. And uh, it's really pleasing. 
Is it difficult to get them to be models, to pose? You know, do you have to give them direction or do they bring something to it themselves? It's very difficult at the start. Usually they're very, very nervous and they just stand in front of me and go, John, what do you want me to do? So you have to sort of get them relaxed, get them to express themselves, and get used to being in front of the camera and forget that I'm there shooting and just be yourself. It's a tough challenge. When you look at all these magazines, you don't realise that magazine photography, then people are shooting probably for days with the one model, and you're trying to do the same probably within an hour if there's somebody who's never been in front of the camera before. So it's a nice challenge. So if you think you have what it takes to be a fashion model, or you know someone who could, feel free to contact Julie at jkemwell at theimpartialreporter.com as they are always on the lookout for fresh talent. To see Michaela's full paid spread, check out The Impartial Reporter. Ashlyn Hagen, The Man of TV.